How y'all feeling? Woo! Feeling woo myself. Uh, uh, I just got back from uh, New Orleans. I just got off a plane and I came straight here. Um, don't love the airport. Don't love that. They don't like me either. They don't like me. <laughs> they don't, uh, I have a tough time usually. Um, uh, they always check me. They always, uh, they always bring me off to the side. Uh, they're always patting down my like turban and checking for bombs. Uh, <laughs> which this has got to be like the worst hiding spot for a bomb. <laughs> like like uh, it's it's like when children hide something in their pants and you're just like you just gotta be like, where is it? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I think it's weird that uh, uh, that they that they check me and uh, they always swab my hands checking for like bondages. <laughs> I I I don't know. I also I'm just always confused too because I'm like, what what the fuck was that machine that you made me go through that can see through my clothes to my body? <laughs> But it can't see through turbans. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that's a that's a fatal design flaw, right? Like they're just like, oh man, what is that? Kevlar? Two layers of cotton? No, <laughs> absolutely not. And did you guys build that for guys that look like me? <laughs> like, like, man, they just like keep running Rajesh through and like testing it. Like, man, just cannot crack this code. Um, gonna have to pat you down every time. Um, uh, also, what kind of terrorist is wearing his turban to the airport? <laughs> like, he's like, gets done making his bomb, and he's like, oh, man, as long as I don't get checked extra at the airport, now where's my turban? Where is my turban? <laughs> um, I mean, terrorists don't wear turbans to the airport because, like, white people are terrorists. <laughs> you know, hey, 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 I didn't see any fucking turbans at the Capitol, did you? <laughs> Lots of, lots of phone bell clips. Lots of, <laughs> lots of, <laughs> lots of blue, je those blue jeans that like remind you you gotta go to Home Depot. You're like, I need shims. I need uh, wooden shims. I need a uh, toilet plunger. Um, <laughs> that's silly. Um, Dude, you know if there was like one turban within like a 10 mile vicinity, that would have been the dude. Like not, the Viking dude wouldn't have been the guy. <laughs> it would have been like Rajesh just like taking pictures of the White House with his kid. Um, that would have been the number one fella. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's fun. Um, did, you guys, did you guys watch the news? Did you guys hear about this Muslim lady down in Texas? Anybody hear about this? Um, she was, she was getting a taco, right? She's getting tacos at this taco joint. And, and she says, hey, I'm Muslim. I, I can't have pork in my taco. Just give me a vegetarian taco, right? Person in the kitchen hears her, sees her, puts a little bit of pork in her taco. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of free pork in her taco. And so I went over there and, and I said, you know, hey, can I get one vegetarian taco, please? Uh, sure hope I don't find any hot ladies in my taco. <laughs> <laughs> Boobies in my burrito. <laughs> Titties in my taquitos. <laughs> Senoritas in my sopa. <laughs> okay, that's just fun for me. <laughs> I can keep going. <laughs> um, um, now I can't think of any. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had so many loaded up. As soon as I did the Sopo one, I was like, this one's gonna hit. <laughs> this one's good, dude. Um, <clears throat> anybody uh, anybody grow up uh, upper middle classy? I grew up poor. Anybody grow up upper middle class eating trick cereal for breakfast? <laughs> yeah, I grew up eating pranks, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you, guys had, uh, you guys had Fruity Pebbles. I had uh, Gay Rocks. Um, <laughs> Cocoa Pebbles, Black Gay Rocks. <laughs> All right, those are the ones that I just like. <laughs> I just wanted to do those up top because I like those. Um, <laughs> we're having fun. All right, you guys are cool. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I, um, all right, so, okay, if you're so fucking cool, take, <laughs> how, how, how are you going to take this next joke, huh? Um, uh, you remember that Ariana Grande concert? Yeah. Oh, hey, give me a fucking second, all right? The one that got bombed. Um, that wasn't the funny part, obviously. The funny part is that after the bombing, Ariana Grande had a tribute concert for the victims. You know what's good for BTSD? Just bring them on back to the same environment. <laughs> Just the same place. You know what? Fuck it. Run the same set list. <laughs> uh, we didn't get to finish last time, so it's going pretty well. Um, and then uh, I can... <laughs> and then she starts out the concert by uh, dedicating the first song to this girl that you visit in the hospital, Rachel. Um, and the first song that she started with was Side to Side. <laughs> Which is, uh, for those of the, you laughing, you know, Side to Side is a song about fucking. <laughs> All right? So much fucking that you gotta waddle side to side to your destinations in the morning. Um, and I can only imagine that the conversation that she had with this girl was just like, oh, oh my God, Rachel, are you in pain? Oh, me too. Uh, wow, we both got our backs blown out last night. <laughs> Big bombs, dicks, <laughs> uh, same thing. Uh, 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 you might never, not ever walk again? <laughs> That's what I was thinking this morning. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I don't know, pretty, pretty, pretty nice of her to do that. Uh, and then uh, she, you know what, this is uh, kind of a weird detail about this event, is that um, there was, and I haven't figured out how to make fun yet, but uh, there was an 18-year-old security guard that saw the suicide bomber coming in, and he didn't say anything because he didn't want to seem racist. Hmm. Right. And I feel like you and I would have done the same thing, right? Because like, if you're right, then you're just standing in front of a dude with a bomb <laughs> and he's really mad probably. Uh, and then worst case, you like stop like, I don't know, Muhammad <laughs> uh, from picking up his son from an Ariana Grande concert <laughs> with all his engineering backpack on, like fucking, I don't know. I, I definitely would have said it then, cause like, I don't know, I can't delete my Twitter again. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I would definitely rather you guys get hit with shrapnel than get roasted on Twitter, dude, it fucking sucks. Make another TikTok? No, hell no, dude. Also, I saw the dude, he looked pretty suspicious. I mean, he was wearing like this huge backpack and a bulletproof vest, which like, the only other person doing that is 50 Cent hiking the Andes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing at an Ariana Grande concert, you know? Um, you guys didn't like that one, huh? Yeah, you guys didn't like that one, huh? Really pulled back on that one. You guys were really cool <laughs> up until that one. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Uh, I am a, I'm an Indian fella. Do we got any Indian people here? Woo! Yeah. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I. Uh, I was. Uh, <laughs> my grandpa died. Um, another funny thing to start out with. Um, and at the funeral, um, everyone's mourning, right? And then. Uh, my dad goes, hey, your uncle who's in Germany, he's, he's not able to see your grandpa, so can you FaceTime him in? And so I'm like, that's kind of weird, but okay, I'll do that. And so I FaceTime him, picks up right away. Really excited to see me. Really excited to talk to me. Uh, and he's riding a bicycle. And he's talking to me, and he's riding a bicycle, and then I just flip the camera <laughs> onto my onto my dead grandpa and then and then he just starts crying. 
but he never stops riding the bicycle. <laughs> and so he's riding and pedaling, but he's crying, and he's like, look at, that. look at my grandpa, and my dad does this thing. He goes like this, as if to say, like, show him off, buddy. <laughs> And, and so I start like doing like, I start like panning <laughs> up and down on my grandpa. <laughs> and, and, and I stop at some of the places where he cries a little bit more. <laughs> I'm artistic with it. I, <laughs> and it's been going on for a while and, it, and he keeps crying and he also can't hear me. He like, like I keep trying to talk to him and he doesn't have his headphones in and so he's just crying and um, so I just hung up. <laughs> I was like, this pay-per-view event is over, dude. <laughs> And I haven't talked to him since. <laughs> I know you're saying that's horrible, but no one else, no one was giving me any type of guidance. <laughs> My dad was just like, yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> it had been like 15 minutes of just a grown man crying while riding a bicycle <laughs> on, on, on public roads. I, I, I don't know, it was just crazy. I was like, man, where are you going? That is so important, pull over. <laughs> he just wouldn't let life stop him. <laughs> um, that's a new biopic. Um, all right, cool, that was, a, that was a new one. So, all right, thank you so much. Um, I was, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fella, I'm a guy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, and uh, I was, one time I was crossing the street, and you know, I'm Indian, and uh, this homeless dude pointed at me, and he's like, hey, can I rap at you real quick? And, <laughs> you know, I did the polite thing, and I kept walking and ignored him, and, uh, and, and he said, hey, 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 ISIS, come back here. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's crazy, right? Cause like this dude doesn't know who ISIS is. <laughs> Cause if he did, would he want me to come back? <laughs> Get his ass, you know? And uh, I, I don't know. I think that's kind of weird that he's like, you know, knowing myself, I'm like, that's kind of weird that, you know, what does he think? ISIS is a bunch of idiots. <laughs> like, like he's like, okay, first you're gonna go to a state school and study engineering, <laughs> all right? And then you're gonna move to a really important city in the Midwest, <laughs> all right? And then you're gonna start putting your nose to the grindstone with comedy, really hitting open mics, really trying out every joke, you know, telling stories, really taking chances. And then, uh, and then eventually you start doing shows, you know, start, start doing club work, road work, rural areas. You'll start, you'll, 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 you'll get a trunk club subscription and start dressing pretty, pretty nicely. <laughs> and he's like, uh, excuse me, sir, I, I actually don't know, how does that help our cause? It's like, oh man, you know what? It really doesn't. I kind of got caught up in the magic of it all. <laughs> And then there's a white dude and a black dude and an Asian chick and, it's, and they start zooming out and they're like, here at ISIS, we have fun. <laughs> and it's been an ISIS commercial all along. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought this dude thought. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> um, Silly. Um, <laughs> that was pretty silly. I do get called slurs, though. I'm not gonna lie. I do get called slurs. Aw. Um, get some uh, pretty weird slurs. Sand N word. That's a good one, cause uh, it, it it I can't say the slur that I'm being called. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude said it, and I was like, wow, you really flew past that sand part. <laughs> really stomping on that end. Uh, uh. I think there's better, there's weird slur, there's other weird slurs, right? Um, uh, curry muncher, that's a good one, because uh, 
I, I know a lot of people like curry. Where's my curry munchers at here, huh? Where's my curry? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Um, camel fucker? That's a good one, because it insinuates that I don't have enough sex with people, so I have to have sex with hoofed desert animals. <laughs> and I'm a top. <laughs> oh, this dude fucks camels, dude. <laughs> Oh, I see camels coming in and out of his apartment all day. How's he meeting all these camels in the city? I have no idea. It's crazy. Um, um, <laughs> terrorist? <laughs> That's a good one. Because, um, like, you know, uh, comedian terrorist, right? Like, what a shtick. <laughs> He's either bombing or killing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I th that's that's just such a weird one to me because I'm like a cool guy, and I dress nice, and uh, and 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 my religion is really cool. Like like if you go if you go to like a a sick temple, like you can you can get free food whenever you want. Pro tip, uh, you can get free food whenever you want. Um, so I think it's just kind of weird. That someone would call me that, you know? It's kind of tough. You know how tall you'd have to be to fuck a camel? Look, all right. <laughs> Dude, camel pussy all the way up here, okay? All right, you'd have to at least get a step stool out, maybe a ladder. And at that point, at that point, I'm fucking camels on purpose, right? Like, like I'm getting a stool out. I, yeah, I'm having a good time with it. I'm taking my time. I, you know, if someone says camel fucker, I say present. What's up? We going out? We going out? I got, I got my suit on. I got my suit on. <laughs> what are we talking here? Dromedary, Bactrian? You know, <laughs> personally, I like two humps, but you know, humps, humps are humps, you know. <laughs> do whatever um, <laughs> that's pretty silly um, I'm a silly guy I'm a silly guy I don't know if you guys have figured that out yet um, yeah what do I end on um, well I got a couple more minutes so um, let's see let's see what do I got in store for you guys oh did you guys hear about this yo check this out there's two different types of skinheads you guys know this? Two different types of skinheads. There's your regular kind, and then there's the anti-racist kind. Right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that wild? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, there's like a set of dudes that hate Japanese people, and then there's another set of dudes that just want to hang out with their similarly bald white friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like MAGA and then manga. <laughs> Like, and, and they actually formed an organization. Um, uh, uh, it's called, uh, uh, oh, what is it called? S uh, uh, SHARP, oh, it's called SHARP, which stands for Skinheads Against Racism, probably. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. That's a that's a cool joke. Um, that's a cool joke. All right, uh, that's that's been my time actually. Thank you so much. Yeah.